guys, what's going on? The day is finally here. We are going to get this truck bed shell insulated today. I'm so excited. I'm glad you're here with me. Let's get some tools, let's get some supplies, and let's get to work. Okay guys, the idea here is to take the um, Reflectix and this uh, 3M Super 77 adhesive, and I'm going to put the, I'm gonna wipe this down with just a, probably just some Windex, just to clean the surface off real quick. Um, let that dry and then I'm going to spray some of this uh, 3M Super 77 and then I will start applying my uh, cutout sheets of Reflectix. We're going to put the Reflectix on first. Then after that, um, we will put on the foam board sheeting and then these aluminum stays that I have here, these are going to get screwed in with some hardware and washers and I picked up a couple different kinds of um, extruded aluminum. This here is an eighth inch thick by one quarter. Uh, it's an eighth inch thick by one inches wide. This piece is four feet long and I have uh, some three quarter inch wide pieces, eighth inch thick, and these are eight feet long and they're gonna run to hold that in. I'm not gonna lie. When I first bought this, I had mixed feelings about the three access windows. I have one hatch on the back, and then I have these two side windows that open up as well. And I thought, gosh, that'll sure be nice in the summer to open those. If I have some screens in here, let some wind blow through, that'll be really nice. When I'm sitting at the lake and just, you know, having that cool breeze run through here. But I thought, gosh, in the winter, you know, it's not going to be as insulated. I've got some ideas of how we're going to go about that. That'll be in a future video to come. But uh, right now being able to uh, climb in through these window holes is making cleaning this shell a lot easier than what it would have been had I not been able to just crawl right in here. As I was cleaning the truck off, I got thinking, I wonder how well this 3M77 sticks to windows. So I think I'm going to grab some newspaper and masking tape and I'm going to mask off these windows. I'm sure rubbing alcohol or maybe some mineral spirits would take this off, but that's just, we're going to tape off the windows. Finally, the last piece. It's like wrapping a really big Christmas present. This takes care of me on making sure that the windows are taped off because I thought, you know, this will be a real pain in the butt. Um, this adhesive gets on here on these windows. Some of the best paint jobs done in life are accredited to the prep work. The guys that take the car off or the painter comes in and blasts everything. So I feel pretty good about that. Now we can actually get to work on this thing. All right, we're just gonna get kind of a rough measurement here. by 26 and 3 quarters
So I have this 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Hold can six to eight inches away from surfaces to be sprayed and apply a uniform coat of adhesive. Allow adhesive to dry until tacky and then apply sufficient pressure to ensure complete contact. Note, um, test for tackiness by gently touching the adhesive with your knuckle. In the, if the adhesive transfers to your skin, it is too wet. If the adhesive is aggressively tacky and does not transfer to your skin, it is ready to bond. The bonding range is between 30 seconds to 15 minutes. So I'm going to put on a um, face mask and I'm going to start applying this to both sides. I just dry fit this first to make sure that it was cut how I wanted it. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I almost bet I could get away with just leaving it in there. It was a really good fit. So, it says to line the tip with that mark on the top of the can. So that's what we'll do. All right, I'm going to give that uh, a minute or two, and then I'm going to give it the knuckle test and see how that works out. All right, it's been about two or three minutes. Nothing's sticking to me. It does feel a little tacky. So I think we're good. It's not super duper sticky, but I don't think I'm too concerned about that because I, it was holding really well almost by itself. And this is just going to give me a little bit of added security. And then I'm going to be putting this foam board over the top of this reflectance. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that I have just the smallest cavity in between both of these materials. That is just way any longer. But then it would have been super difficult to work with. get a jacket on it's getting cold in here has been a mild winter but um, it's still getting cold out at night um, so we finally got the reflectix all in miss homesteader has headed off to the home improvement store to pick up some great stuff we're gonna fill in some of these small gaps in here with the great stuff be, be a little bit easier for that uh, if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing as more videos are gonna unfold on this truck bed shell camper that we're putting together. In the next episode, we're gonna take this uh, foam board here that we have, and that's gonna be our next layer that goes in over these uh, extruded aluminum that's on here. So we'll have the Reflectix, a small gap, then the foam board insulation, and we're gonna uh, tack that in with some uh, extruded aluminum and some washers and pan head screws. 
If you haven't checked out another channel, there's another channel out there called Adventroverse. Check out their channel. They are one that uh, inspired me uh, on how I was going to go about doing the insulation on this. Uh, so I followed their videos. I'll put links down below to all the tools that we have uh, used and some of the supplies that we've used for this. Uh, that's one way you can support our channel is if you decide to do this on your own, uh, you can purchase some of those items through our links below. It's no additional cost to you, so we do appreciate that support there. Share us on your social media networks. Subscribe below. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.